Although Sketch and Affinity Designer are now strong competitors, Adobe Illustrator remains unquestionably the most used vector-based design program, both among individual creatives and the design industry as a whole. Paddling through the wealth of learning material to find the most relevant Illustrator tutorials for you can take a long time. So, we've compiled a list of some of the best Illustrator tutorial videos destined to cater to various skill levels, helping you get the most out of the software. Whether you want to create a basic icon or a sophisticated asset, the more approaches and shortcuts you know, the faster you'll be able to obtain the results you desire. So, without further ado, let's get started. Before we do that, let me tell you about our sponsor for today's video, Eagle App. Eagle App is a media asset manager that helps you organize, gather, and look through all of your references, images, audio, video content, notes, and so much more all in one place. If you are tired of skimming through dozens of folders before you can find what reference that you need or maybe you are starting a new project and you need a library of assets or references for inspiration, well, Eagle might be just the solution for you. With so many ways you can reference your files and so many types of files you can import into Eagle because it is virtually able to read any file format. You can even capture websites or save videos from online websites such as YouTube or Vimeo. Furthermore, Eagle makes it even easier with the browser extension to integrate right into your navigator and allows you to capture whole pages or a portion of them. And all the screenshots get automatically tagged with the website URL so you can easily go back and check the original website. Also, Eagle has one of the most robust search functions ever. You can search your library based on the colors in the image. For example, you might want inspiration from images with red colors. And you can look up all images with predominantly red colors. You can also look for assets by name, size, dimension, format, date, and so much more. If this sounds good to you, which I think it is, you can try Eagle app now for free. You will find the necessary links in the description. The problem with Illustrator is that there are usually many ways to complete the same task. Even though you know how to do something, one way doesn't necessarily mean that it's the simplest or most direct way to accomplish it. That being said, some of these tools provide alternative routes to processes for which you might already have a mechanism in place, and others would most likely require a comparable amount of time and work to achieve the same end result. In any case, this tutorial provides a short and straightforward review of what each and every single Adobe Illustrator tool accomplishes and its basic applications. Whether you're a fresh Illustrator rookie or have already used it thousands of times, you'll find this video quite useful. I'm sure you've bumped into a lot of designs with curved text. A circular logo with curved or wavy text is popular in coffee shops, pubs, and restaurant industries. Before launching one's graphic design career, they all assume that this type of logo would be difficult to create due to the various text styles, such as the arch, bulge, wavy text, and so on. Nobody can teach you better than the owner of the product itself. In this two-minute simple tutorial, the Adobe Creative Cloud channel will show you how to create wavy words using Illustrator. The video is simple, easy, short, and really packed with a lot of information for new users as well as those looking for a quick refresher. When creating a design, we all begin with quite a black and white prototype. In this video, we'll discover Dom's straightforward coloring technique in Adobe Illustrator for outlined flat design vector graphics. To make your designs come to life, he will demonstrate how to add the basic colors and how to apply the proper highlights and shadows. If you're a novice or even an expert wishing to improve your game, this video is ideal for you. Only some pieces of art created or edited in Illustrator need to have a vector appearance. Designers who prefer working with their hands, choosing sketchbooks, ink, and pencils over a screen, but yet value Illustrator's flexibility, endless undo, and labor-saving advantages can benefit from Adobe Creative Cloud software. Several designers are gravitating towards digital vector art because of its ability to reach a larger audience. Let's take a look at how you can use Illustrator tools to transform a drawing into vector artwork now that we've explored some of its digital art capabilities. Have you ever designed something in Illustrator and then spent a long time looking at it to figure out why it doesn't appear the way you desire? I mean, what's missing? 
As with any design software, including Adobe Illustrator, even the smallest details may make or ruin a design. So, if you want to sharpen your skills and start working with Adobe Illustrator more effectively, this tutorial is for you. You might feel a little intimidated when you initially get to lay your hands on Adobe's industry standard vector-based program. The design world, though, can benefit significantly from its tremendous power. These 10 tips will help you get the most out of the program and construct top-notch artwork. Artworks of this style, also known as portraits, concentrate on the model's face. An individual, a group, or oneself may be depicted in such works of art. You'll start by opening a relevant image for your portrait in Illustrator, lowering its opacity, and tracing it using the pen and shape tools. Repeat this process for additional reference portions, coloring certain areas, adding shadows, and customizing other components. If you want to create a visually attractive portrait in Adobe Illustrator, you can use the straightforward techniques listed in this tutorial. Simply put, a clipping mask is a shape you draw, also known as a clipping path, that hides everything underneath it, leaving only the contents of the clipping path revealed. To only clip a portion of the image, you draw a shape, primarily using the pen tool, then apply the clipping mask on top of the picture. Et voila! The following two-minute tutorial with J. Black Cult will explain this technique way better than I would. One thing that Illustrator does exceptionally well is making it simple to separate the background from the foreground. The software excels at getting rid of white backgrounds. Combining the magic wand or pen tool with a clipping mask is the best method to remove the background in Illustrator. We cannot stress how critical it is to wrap your head around clipping masks enough. You can mask typical JPEGs and other file types, but again, your clipping mask will be a vector. The magic wand is another fantastic tool to use when you want to pick out components of your project that have comparable qualities. You can add or remove regions by clicking on them, and the program will attempt to guess what you want to pick. You can refine that by clicking on specific areas to add or delete them. Illustrator's overall usage is in logo creation. Since the only format that allows resizing and editing graphics without losing quality is the vector file format, which Illustrator is based on. A logo is always susceptible to being placed on various spots, from small packages to giant billboards. This tutorial will detail how to convert a logo sketch to vector resolution. It's true that you can find less expensive or even free alternatives to Illustrator, like Affinity Designer or Inkscape. However, adding an industry standard software to your arsenal of skills will increase your chances of getting a job that will allow you to afford more than just the Adobe Suite, if you know what I mean. Well, that's it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed these tutorials to your heart's content. Let us know in the comments if we missed any good ones or if you have a favorite. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.